In this tutorial we present how to build a mechanic motor simulation in SimSpace from scratch. After we open SimSpace we create a new project and name it Tutorial Mechanic Simulation. Next we open the component space under Edit, Insert, Component and insert the basic model component from Simulation, Framework. This gives you the project structure we are now going to fill in step by step. First we insert the actual simulation component named Droder Stress 2D Hot Hint from the component space. You can find it under Simulation, Motor, Mechanical. If you select a component you can check out its help file on the right hand side. After inserting a component you can find the help in the component tab of the component. In the next step we insert our geometry of choice into the geometry container. Select the geometry container and insert a geometry component. For our example we go to part, motor part, rotor PM interior, free CAD and insert the rotor interior 10 free CAD. We want to make a mechanic simulation, so we need to set stress 2D enable to true in the drawing list. In this project we only want to consider a rotor without a stator. Since the outer diameter of the rotor is defined by the stator inner diameter we either have to define the inner diameter of the stator by hand or change the outer diameter of the rotor to a fixed value. Adjust the parameters of the rotor to fit your needs. After we have done this, we save and run the project in order to update the geometry information. Now we get an error message that no NS was defined. Since we don't consider a stator we can set the placement to fixed values and get rid of the problem. When the project is regenerated we can check out the geometry in the preview tab of the geometry. Between the rotor core and the magnets you can see a red line. That indicates a boundary condition. In Import-Export tab we set boundary condition to contact. Here you can also check all the links to the material and the parameters. Now we will add two sleeves, one aluminum and a CFK sleeve. We want to define them as subgeometries of the rotor. To do this, select the rotor container and insert a motor sleeve from part, motor part, motor sleeve, free CAD. You can change the name of the part in order to make identification easier. We set the material to aluminum by inserting the respective material from the component space. and link the new material to the respective material import in the part. Adjust the geometry parameters of the sleeve. In this case, the inner diameter of the sleeve is linked to the rotor outer diameter, and the sleeve outer diameter is given by a function adding the thickness of the sleeve to the inner diameter. In the imports you see that a boundary condition is already defined as a force fit. The parameters for the force fit can be changed in the boundary condition container of the sleeve. If you need a different boundary condition check out the possible conditions and how to define them in the help file of the rotor stress 2D hot hint component.
Next we insert the CFK sleeve. Once more select a motor sleeve from the component space and insert the materials, and adjust the parameters. For the CFK sleeve fetch the respective material from the component space and insert the link in the imports. Notice that the inner diameter of the sleeve has to be linked to the outer diameter of the aluminum sleeve. After all parameters are set, we have to regenerate the project once more. Now we have a look at the mechanic simulation. The parameter NL stands for the rotational speed and is linked to the maximum rotation speed. Change the value if needed. In the setup of the simulation you can specify if the whole geometry or only a sector should be simulated. The LFE factor can be used if for instance the sleeve is segmented in Z direction. In the hot end model a preview of the simulation mesh is shown. If you want to run the simulation, check the respective box in the simulation settings menu and refresh the project once more. A simulation job is sent to the job manager and is either executed locally or on the cluster if you check the remote compute option. When the job is finished successfully the bar turns green and you can fetch the results by refreshing the project. In conclusion of this tutorial we have a look at the results of the mechanic simulation by Hotint. In the preview tab you can select different simulation results. For example the Mises stress. The function get results gives you the minimal and maximal values of various stress and strain values for each domain in the geometry. This concludes the SimSpace tutorial on mechanic simulation using Hotint. Thank you for watching.